I was gonna wait the dog to stop barking, but there's a UPS truck out there and ain't gonna stop anytime soon, so might as well start it right now. So, hey guys, Des Pipe here coming at you from South Carolina. It's Tuesday afternoon, about 16, yeah, 15, 40 ish. It is balmy out here. It is humid as all get out. You don't have a fan going, but it's like one of those big old, like, like airplane propeller kind of things around a drum. It sounds horrible, but it feels good, but I couldn't do a video. So, anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, what we we'll do today is a little bit of ramble as usual, and got some yabos. Got some good, good old yabos. One, one I'm very excited about. Very excited about. So, anyway, housekeeping. Got the Pearson Dracula. Love that stem. I got some Cornell and Deal bluegrass in here. Mm. I do like it a lot. If you are a fan of, well, what's that, uh, Exhausted Rooster, which I am. I know a couple of guys I hear, I hang out with and talk to are big fans. You got to try to bluegrass out. A little more heavier on the Perique. But it's got cigar leaf in it, and it kind of mellows it out. However, probably not the best choice on a balmy day in South Carolina. Tastes good, but this stuff's thick. Uh, let's see what happened. Uh, Memorial Day was on Monday. I had a very good time, from what I was told. From what I remember, I had a good time, but yeah, I tie one on. I tie one on. Nothing bad happened. You know, I stayed home, watched TV, hung out with the family. But no parties, no barbecues. Just hung out, enjoyed uh, enjoy Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I just got done watching the new Star Wars film, Solo. I liked it. I did like it a lot. Um, I'm very, very tired right now. And usually when I'm tired, it's not a good time for me to go see a movie because I don't get bored per se, but I try not to fall asleep in the movie theater. I don't feel like paying for a $10 nap. So definitely when I'm a little more rested, I will go see it again. I saw a standard review today. Name next time I go see it in a, excuse me, go see it in a 3D or IMAX, whatever. Oh yeah, I'm drinking some Mel Yellow Zero, which is good, but you're gonna hear me say excuse me a lot. Another thing, got a little rant going on right here. I'm a little, a little upset. Nothing horrible, nothing bad. Well, I got an email from one of my, uh, I'm not gonna say the name, but you can probably figure out who it is. Email from one of my online tobacco places. Hey, you're a, uh, your uh, tobacco you want's back in stock. Well, all right. I'll go over there, check my PayPal account. I got, I got enough. I, I'll get a, I'll get two, two tens. But then I go set it up, get ready to pay, and all of a sudden, pick what shipping you want. But wait a minute. This is usually free shipping. What, what am I doing? I'm on the wrong site now. I'm on the right site. This, you got to pay for shipping now. And of course, I'm on the phone, so you go to the very top, it says, free shipping with $75 or more. Man, that will upset me a little bit, because that's the place I go to, and if I want to try something new out, I want to buy 10 of it, I only got to buy one 10 and not pay for shipping, you know. But now you got to pay for shipping, so, crap. I don't know. Anyway. They're good, they're good people, they're a good company. I'm still gonna buy from them. But now if I want my little my little sample or just one or two, or excuse me, just one tin, I don't feel like paying shipping. The shipping's gonna be half of but how much the damn tin is. So anyway, I'm not gonna say the name. I still let the company just upset about the new policy. That's it. And you can probably figure out who it is by what I explained. It used to be free shipping, now there's no free shipping. So, If you want to make a rant video, go ahead. I'm not going to say anything. All right. 
on to some Yabos. All right, I got two here. I'm going to use the M137 box cutter. First one's from uh, PNC uh, Pipes and Cigars. They had a little sale going on. 15% off Cornell and Deal bulk. And I was out of one of my favorite Cornell and Deal bulk, so I decided to uh, take advantage. I didn't get much. I didn't get much at all. Of course, Haunted Bookshop. My Cornell and Deal Haunted Bookshop. My favorite at the moment. I was out. Got me four ounces. Let's see what else I got here. Cornell and Deal Three Friars. Now this one, their claim was it's supposed to be like the old Three Nuns Virginia Blend. Maybe some bur yeah, put some burlies in there. So, and thanks for packaging the way it is. So I can't open it up without tearing it. And I don't have no mason jars right now if I keep it in the bags for right now, but. Yeah, I can't smell through a plastic bag. I don't know why I just tried like an idiot right there. Come on. Thanks for the packaging, but no thanks. All right. The main reason I ordered $100 wine voucher. Comes in handy. And some Cornell and Deal. Virginia Flake, two ounces. The two ounces, yeah, two. That two ounces looks a whole lot bigger than this two ounces. So, I think I got robbed on one. I got an ant on my foot. Excuse me. God, get out of there. I said it gets muggy and balmy down here. The ants come up. We had rain too. So, three fryers. Virginia Flake. Um, just trying to find a good Virginia, plain old Virginia flake. I'm pretty sure it's made just for blending, but screw it. If you like it, it smokes good by itself. I'm gonna smoke it. Hmm. Or I'll go buy their Perique blending and or their Perique blend. Perique blend. Good God, Kyle. Perique blend and mix it with that. And see what happens. Made some magic. Who knows? All right. Here is what I'm really, really excited about. Got me a new pipe. Brand new pipe. First ever artisan pipe. And when I say artisan pipe, I mean, you know, handmade by the guy. Well, I got that Morgan Bones thing, but I don't, you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, I messaged this guy. And said, so, you know, he has a thing on he has a thing on Instagram. I'll put it down at the bottom. You know, message me for details. I did. And he gave me the details, the prices, decent prices. And he said, give me a call. I said, okay. If you're serious, give me a call. So I called him. And we had about an hour conversation about what I wanted in a pipe. No DMing, no messaging, no email. Call him straight up. Tom was his name. Great dude. Great, great guy. Anyway, it's a fat daddy pipe. Fat Daddy Pipes. And I told him what I want. And every single pipe he makes is unique to the person ordering. I don't think I don't think at the moment he has like a, a line or anything like that. Um but anyway. He even told me he said I mean I'm not good at like looking at something on a on a web page or something saying, you know, like getting dimensions. I said, here, go on, my go on my page. Go on there and look. And see that pipe right there? Yeah, that's a so-and-so pipe. That's this exercise, exercise pipe. You see this pipe over here? Yeah, this is an exercise pipe. You see the sticker right? You know, he was explaining things to the T so my dumb ass could understand. I got a good idea what was going on. So, and this, I ordered about three weeks ago. I was like third in line. But he made it and was out the door within three days, and I got it today. But Memorial Day weekend, you know, still. Let's see what we got here. Ah, I know where that's from. Don't worry about that. So, anyway, huh. got a cool. I'm not gonna show you, I got a tamper right I'm not gonna show it to you right now, but actually, it's part of the uh, 
the thing. Oh, there goes pecking peanuts. Of course. Business cards. Fat daddy, pipe, fat daddy pipes. Again, I'll put the thing down on Instagram. And of course, one of my always favorite extras, stickers. I love stickers, man. And coasters. Holy crap. That's pretty cool. Little coasters. So. Anyway. Got a bro note right here, but I'll kind of keep that to myself. Actually. It's actually a very nice, long bro note right here. I won't. And it's very uh, individualized here. It's written to me. It's talking about what I ordered. Um, some things, some business things in there. But, you know, if he took time out and make a pipe and type me up a letter, think of me for what I did. And also, yeah. So, now, when I called him up and I asked him, he asked what kind of pipe I wanted. I told him what I wanted. And he says, my pipes are big bastards. His exact words. I got big bastards of pipes. I like that. So, I'm going to do a little comparison here. I haven't seen this thing in person. I'm holding it right now. It feels like a big bastard. But right here is my the largest pipe I have. It's my Nording freehand, orange freehand. It's a good smoking pipe. It's decent. It's, 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 it's a pretty big bastard. Here's the Nording. Here's my little Dracula. So, you can see a little bit of a difference there. A little bit of size difference. Tall wise. Not much in the uh, chamber, but I'm a big bastard right here, right now. So, shut up, my dogs. So, all right. Ready for the big review. Of course, I got a sock, which I love. Nice. Holy. I won't say it. Holy shit. That is a big bastard of a pipe. Exactly what I wanted. Little fat daddy pipe thing, sorry for the lighting. And you see the color scheme. I told him I want a Darth Vader inspired pipe. I said, he gave me uh and then I told him what I wanted. He called me again, we discussed it, what we wanted. So then I got a black rusticated poker. I see the size difference thing though. Again, my largest pipe at the time. Look at that SOB. That thing is massive. That thing is huge. And so anyway, I said I want a Star Wars inspired, Darth Vader inspired pipe. Um, he's not a Star Wars guy, which is fine, I'm not, I'm not mad. So I want a heavily rusticated black pipe, looks like I've been beaten up. And I want a red stem with a gray, a red and gray stem to represent his lightsaber look at that i mean i can go nuts for a damn a darn stand man and if you can see the ring on there is the imperial symbol and best part about it it spins it's a spinning ring look at that good lord Come on. Mm. and it's not that heavy i mean it's heavy because it's huge but that is not bad. Thoroughly, thoroughly impressed and very, very happy for my purchase and very impressed by the craftsmanship here. God, it's beautiful. I don't know what plans are for it yet. Could be a burly, burly pipe. I don't know. But I gotta break it in first, so. Anyway. Oh, forgot to tell you. Forgot to show you. The tamper. Fat fingers around it. There's the tamper. That's awesome. Makes the tamper with the same material as, or same color as the the the, uh, the, the stem. So, and yeah, there you go. The big that thing is. That's how deep it is. Yep. I'll go deep. I'll go deep in that pipe. So, Tom, awesome, awesome craftsmanship. Awesome. Better than I, better than what I expected. Oh, very beautiful. Can't wait to put it to work, man. 
really can't. I'm gonna put his name and stuff down in the uh, down the bucket so you go find him, go get you a fat daddy pipe. Hopefully, you know, this will not be my last at all. I might get several more. But you know, contact him, go on Instagram, follow his stuff, look at what he's got going on, message him for a pipe, tell him I sent him a pinch sent you over. Um but yeah, very good work. So anyway, thank you all for joining me. Thanks for enjoying my yabos, my rambles. Y'all have a good one.